Hi guys, it's Rachel. Haven't vlogged in a while. Um, I'm on P2. I think I'm going to start over <laughs> from my planned interruption. So I'm going to call this P2 Day 3. Um, and I'm not weighing. Yay! I have um, I had my, you know, like epiphany last last week sometime. Oh, sorry, got something in my eye about how it is super unhealthy to weigh myself like 800 times in a day. So I decided that I was going to try to give myself a week. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try to go seven whole days. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I have had so Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I kind of just like plain interrupt, didn't stick on P3, ate sugar, ate baked goods, ate carbs, ate potatoes, ate all kinds of stuff I shouldn't have had. So I um, was really, I was very mad at myself later, but you know, whatever. I didn't weigh myself after that. I didn't even want to know. Um, so I just started my round and I just went with it. So um, I'm going to give myself a week and see where I am. I'm hoping I did decently and everything, you know, works out okay. But um had a great Christmas. Uh, I have a five, four, and three-year-old and it was like super fun this year to watch them open their stuff. They were really cute. Oh, and... This is what my five-year-old got me. Cute, right? Some PJ pants. <laughs> yeah, snowman PJs. That's what that's what he picked out to get me. So my other, my four-year-old picked out to get me a popcorn maker. <laughs> Their favorite food is popcorn. Like they want popcorn all the time. So um, very funny that he picked out something that he wanted. I'm sure. So. Anyway, um, I am just doing, doing the plan. Um, I have had some issues with an ulcer, I've had some issues with um, colon, intestines, whatever you want to call it. So I am going to stick to pop 90%. Oh, I don't even know what the percentage will be. I'm adding Faye yogurt in as a protein replacement. Um, it keeps me like regular and keeps me going. And I haven't noticed um, any other time in my life, I haven't noticed if it's a problem. So if I weigh in a week and it's a problem, like I didn't lose a decent amount of weight, then I will um, cut it out, I guess. But as of right now, I'm, I'm going to do it because it, it works and I can't deal with the other issues that much so I also don't want to be taking like Prilosect or Zantac for a long time for this ulcer and dairy helps I don't it, it helps me it helps the feeling I don't know if it helps other people but it does help me so I'm gonna keep doing that but yeah we're I'm I'm just trucking along here in P2 again um, I'm hoping, hoping, if we're going to talk about the pounds part, here's my goals. Here's my goals of this P2. Obviously, this is my round two, and people have talked about how it's more difficult than round one, and I'm believing it. <laughs> I don't, I have tons of weight to lose, so this is not um, like I don't, have, you know, I'm at a, a stopping point. I'm, I've got like 20 more pounds, 30 more pounds to go. So this is not um, a place where I want to be stopped at. But at the same time, my goal, my number one goal is to hopefully get down to like 160. I'm, I, my LDW was 172, I think, 172. I don't even remember because I haven't weighed in a while. But uh, 172 or 174, and I would like to get to 160 or if I could get in the 150s that'd be awesome but 160 would be fine um 
that's my weight goal. My secondary goal is an emotional goal of um, breaking the scale cycle and and um, breaking the emotional eating want because after two days of eating just like you know Christmas cookies a couple here and there and you know all the crap that I ate the first day of back on BLCD was like I was so full I couldn't even like see straight I was so full just from I guess the HCG back and then like maybe all the crap I'd had in my body before like a, like a load without HCG but um, I I wanted to eat I ate dinner and I ate at like 5.30 and by 7 I was like hmm wonder how many baked goods we have left hmm do we have any more chocolate peanut butter buckeyes left? Like in my head, this is what I'm thinking. I wasn't hungry. I wanted nothing. It was like I got addicted to sugar again in two days. So uh, the short version is that I want to, my emotional goal is to get over my stress eating and my emotional eating because it is stress and it is emotion that makes me want to eat because I notice when, um, well... Uh, before my mom passed away, I when I was happy, I wouldn't eat. I didn't want to eat. You know, I wasn't like wanting to bake a pan of brownies when I was happy. I did it when I was stressed out at work or sad or lonely or whatever. You know, like there's multiple reasons why I would feel emotional or emotional eating. So, yeah, I need to cut that out like immediately. And that is my... My goal is to try to like, I don't want to use the word heal, but try to get to a better place on that. And, and, you know, I didn't do it, but, and I have a lot of willpower and I do have control over myself, but it's, it's a control, it's a physical control of telling myself no, but my mental brain is saying, Hey, who cares? <laughs> hey, you've lost a decent amount of weight, you know, you're not as chunky as you used to be. What's what's another peanut butter ball going to do? Like, this is what's going on in my brain. Like, I've got, doo -doo, I've got some issues up there with the, the mental stuff. But, so anyway, that's my goal. I'd like to get to 160. So lose about, I don't know, 15 pounds. We'll just say 14, 13, 12. I'm not sure. But that's my number goal, and then my emotional goal is to try to get myself <laughs> unmessed up. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but um, I'm noticing like I try to bribe my kids, and I have, and they and they do do it sometimes. But I'm noticing they're like unbribable with a lot of things, like potty training specifically. <gasps> oh my goodness! Sorry, that's embarrassing. Um, trying to potty train and I'm trying to bribe with like candies or you know what everybody does with potty training like if you go pee pee you can have this if you go poopy you can have this and like this child does not give a crap he is just like I'm not doing it he literally says I'm not doing it <laughs> he doesn't care what you give him and I'm like, oh man, I wish I could be like him because maybe I am, maybe that's where he got it. But, you know, I, I wish I could not be affected by things like that. Like I would be like, oh, you just want me to do this and you'll give me this. Okay, I'll do that. You know, that's, I don't know. I'm digressing very quickly. So anyway, goal 160, number wise, mental goal. Try not to be such a freak about the mental wanting of, of things, which maybe I just need to get back into it more because I did notice that I, my cravings were gone last round. So, um, obviously I'm super tired. I haven't slept in quite a few days. Um, got a little bit of, uh, mental, I keep using the word mental, got a little bit of stress going on emotional stress and then on top of that I've had two kids wake up like 
all night for all kinds of reasons. So, um, trying to, trying to just maybe go get some sleep now. So, I hope everybody's doing well. This is the end of 2012. Yay! Going into the next year. Oh boy, another year. Um, don't even know what to say about that. I'm not a big New Year's resolution person because I kind of feel like if it's broken, you should just fix it when it breaks <laughs> or when you when you realize it's broken. Um, so I don't like make a list of goals, or, you know, or New Year's resolutions. But obviously, since I'm in round two for the new year, I'm going to make a goal for my round two, but our P2. So um, I think I'll probably start experimenting with some more recipes because I need to spice some things up here because I'm already getting bored and it's only like three days in. So anyway, this vlog is turning super long. Hope everybody's doing well. It's nice to see some new vlogs. It's been on, everyone's been on hiatus for Christmas. So anyway, talk soon guys. Have a good night. Bye.